millions of artworks and monuments are at risk from Russia's military attack on Ukraine. With a museum housing folk art already heavily damaged, other institutions fear they might be next. In Lviv, employees of the Museum of Ethnography, Arts and Crafts covered its windows with metal panels. They hope this will protect the museum collections from shock waves in case of nearby explosions. This comes after Ukrainian officials announced that 25 works by artist Maria Prumichenko had burned down at the Ivankiv Museum in Kiev region. According to reports, Russian forces set the place on fire. Meanwhile, other institutions are worried about looting and possible destruction of World Heritage Sites. General Director of the Ukrainian Institute, Volodymyr Sheko, joins me now from Lviv. Hi there, Volodymyr. Uh, you're in Lviv right now. It hasn't been bombed. It must feel like a relatively safe city compared to other parts of the country. How is the atmosphere like there, especially in artistic circles? Um, hello, it's good to be able to speak to you. Um, Lviv is indeed a relatively safe place, uh, but war can be seen and felt um, in probably every single street because people are very mobilized to help the army, to help the volunteers and to um, help those um, thousands of people working internationally supplying um, aid and humanitarian aid and, and supplies for the civilians and as well as, 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 as the Ukrainian army. So the city is very much alive and plugged into, into what, what's going on. Okay, well, um, we just heard about the loss of 25 works by an important artist, uh, Maria Primachenko. She was an essential figure for Ukrainian art history, wasn't she? Um, she was and she is a very prominent um, artist that is uh, one of the central figures to the history of Ukrainian art of the 20th century. However, the loss of those works um, is still unconfirmed. Um, it, there has been reported, it has been reported that some of these works may have survived and may have been taken by the uh, residents of the village where the museum was located to their homes. So it's the Ministry of Culture of Ukraine that is now um, calculating the possible losses of cultural heritage in the country, um, uh, including the works of Maria Primachenko. Maria Primachenko's works were in Ivankiv Historical and Local History Museum. Do we have any other, I mean, this is not even confirmed in itself, you said, but do we have any other cases where uh, any art institutions or museums were subjected to any looting or any bombings, etc.? As far as I know, um, there haven't been any such cases because the museums and the Ministry of Culture are very busy now uh, figuring out how to um, either evacuate or make sure that the collections are safe. So I can't really uh, speak much about that at the moment, but um, the architectural heritage of Ukraine is in great danger because the cities of um, Kharkiv and Kyiv uh, have been heavily bombed. Um, and, and the central parts of those cities contain very valuable historic and, and architectural monuments. So um, that, uh, can, together with the UNESCO um, heritage, uh, world heritage objects in Ukraine, is very much in danger, I believe. Please talk us through what other uh, institutions, I mean, you mentioned uh, architectural sites, but there are some institutions and important artworks, not only Ukrainian artists, but also global artists, Europe, other European artists as well. Please talk us through what else is at the risk of destruction. Well, basically all major museums in, in big cities that are being attacked or that are being bombed or are at risk or be, of being bombed, um, you know, are, are, are at risk of being destroyed or, or parts of the collections are at risk of being lost. So uh, uh, arts museum, national, uh, local lore museums, uh, museums of international art, of which uh, there are several in cities like Kyiv or Odessa or Kharkiv or Dnipro. So museums that contain rich collections of European and, um, and uh, Eastern uh, art, um, as well as Islamic art. And, you know, there is a, another huge issue about cultural heritage in in, the, uh, in Crimea, which which has been under temporary occupation of Russia since 2014. So um, the whole Crimean Tatar cultural and architectural legacy um, 
has been in danger for years now and has been destroyed uh, intentionally by Russia or by um, unprofessional renovations, so-called, uh, such as the Great Han Palace in, in Bakhchi Sarai in, in the Crimea. So uh, I think the issue is much more wide than, than, than just museum collections. Mm -hmm. And it's really important to stress that it's a grave violation of the Hague Convention on Protection of Cultural Heritage uh, during during the uh, the conflict, the war, the, the armed conflict. Uh, both Russia and Ukraine signed this convention in eight, in 1954, and the convention um, basically tells that any party engaging in a war should take care of protecting cultural heritage and should not attack or destroy. Um, cultural heritage of the country that is being subjected to an attack. Uh, and we see that Russia gravely violates this this convention by directly attacking, hitting um, the, the, the central parts of our cities, which contain immense cultural heritage. Right. What could be done at this point? Well, I believe that UNESCO is the platform, an international platform for um, cultural, educational and scientific cooperation. And UNESCO should take a very firm stance on Russia in this, um, in this respect, uh, up, up until excluding and, and banning Russia from, uh, from participating in, in, in UNESCO affairs, because this is just unacceptable what they're doing. So uh, this should remain a, a platform where international community can act and can uh, uh, hold hold Russia uh, responsible for this. Uh, and of course, the the assistance that Ukraine has been asking from its allies internationally to um, uh, to make um, to protect Ukrainian skies, to make it a no-fly zone, would greatly greatly help. Um, protect our land from um, from aerial uh, assault and from um, aerial missiles that are launched uh, on Ukrainian cities from Russian territory. And are you hopeful about the future in that sense, in this sense of like preserving cultural heritage? I mean, or do you fear that Ukrainian culture could be wiped out? It will not be wiped out. Um, there have been multiple, multiple attempts from Russia throughout our history to wipe Ukrainian language, Ukrainian identity, Ukrainian culture. Um, there was massive destruction of um, architectural and sacred um, heritage in the 1930s by the Soviet uh, Union uh, across, across our country. But still, um, the nation lives on and whatever is destroyed will be rebuilt, I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. And uh, I, I'm just seeing incredible resilience and incredible unity uh, among Ukrainians to withstand and to fight this war. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure that whatever happens, this nation and this culture will, will survive and we will come out even stronger out of this conflict, out of this war. Well, let's leave it on that strong note. Volodymyr Shaiko, good to have you with us today. Thanks so much. Thank you so much.